Coming up next, girls high school basketball on your sports leader in Lorraine, WLCS TV 20. Hello and welcome to Lorraine High School. I'm Hyatt Hernan alongside me, Bob Braskage. Today's game, girls basketball, the Lorraine Titans taking on the Warrensville Tigers. Lorraine comes into this one at five and 14. Warrensville coming into this one just one win. So it looks like Lorraine could have a pretty decent chance to win this one, oh, Bob. There's no question about it. And, and Hyatt, it's a, I'm of the opinion that most, the vast majority of girls basketball teams leave a lot of unscored points on the floor that they don't take advantage of their defense. And I can remember earlier in the season, you and I did a game with uh, Lorraine High versus Keystone. And what turned that game around was the pressure, it doesn't have to be full court, the pressure that Lorraine High put on the perimeter in the half court, forcing turnovers and easy scores. That's what I think is the key tonight. Well, stick around because this is going to be a fun one. We'll be back after these messages on WLCS TV 20. McGruff the Crime Dog here. We've all heard of identity theft. Now I'm going to show you how those thieves do it. Watch. He's secretly photographing her credit card with his cell phone. Now watch. They pretend they have a package to deliver, and while they're trying to fit it in the mailbox, they're taking her credit card payments and other paid bills. To learn how to protect yourself from identity theft, go to weprevent.org. Keep your identity to yourself and help take a bite out of crime. Hello, and welcome back to Lorraine High School. I'm Hyatt Hernan, alongside me, Bob Braskage. Girls basketball action here on WLCS TV 20. The Lorraine High Lady Titans taking on the Warrensville Tigers. Wow. Just Stoica. like Stoica, Stoica Hyatt. Just Mackenzie Stoica puts up two. Out there for the Lady Titans, Mackenzie Stoica, Gretchen Conabare, Andrew Leek Flores, Destiny Wilson, and Shaquilla Craighead. Well, you know, we should point out, you know, Warrensville only dresses seven and didn't have a JV team. You know, it makes me wonder. You would think Warrensville, Warrensville would, um, you know, the, the boys' basketball team is very good and has been uh, historically. You, you kind of wonder what's, what's with the girls. Wenzel takes over here, and we'll see how this depleted roster plays out in the later end of this game. Strickland with it for Warrensville, gets the pass over to Cowan. Moving the ball around here, the shot taken up, won't go, and Destiny Wilson fights for the rebound for the Lady Titans. Connor Bear with it, takes the shot. Wow, that was a two. And that'll put it at 4-0 for Lorraine. 6.30 left to play in this first quarter. You know, I just think, as, as we talked about in the pregame, wow, it's a three. That, I mean, I, I just think there are points left on, on, the, on the floor by the vast majority of girls' basketball teams. You can really take advantage of offensive skill level uh, with a lot of pressure, traps, jumping in the passing lane. You know, we, we saw Lorraine High do that very, very well against Keystone earlier this year. I'd like to see him do do it again tonight. And Stoika puts up two more as that gives a 6-3 lead to the Lady Titans. And that's what we're doing. There's the trap, and off the trap, you know, you want to have the other three players jump into a passing lane, try to play cat and mouse, run through the passing lane, get a steal, force a turnover, and score, because it's so hard in the girls' game to score when you have to go through the heart of the opponent's defense. You've got to get those points in other ways. Nice cut. Stoika puts up two more and a chance attack on one here. Wow. Little one force, uh, a high set. A lot of people ask, well, why do teams offensively line up four across the foul line? Well, it, it takes away help, and you saw that right there. I mean, if, if you could lob over it, it's a clear path to the basket, and that's what Lorraine and I did. And Mackenzie Stoika, just like that, tacks on her seventh point of the game. Warrensville trying to keep in this one. A pass, a shot, up and in. That was Tahaja Edwards for the Tigers. Get that cut. Craig That's how shot. you do it. 
That's how you do it. Against pressure, if you're being denied, back cut. Well done. Six point lead for the Lady Titans. Five minutes left in the first quarter. Onesville losing it. Craighead trying to keep it in. But it looks like that went off, went off her hands and out of bounds. So the Warrensville Tigers will retain possession. Cowan's shot up. Whoa! 11 8. The, prior to the game, I watched the warm up. I didn't, warm up. I didn't think they'd scored 20 for the entire game. They've got eight here in the first three minutes. Angelique Flores' pass over the head of Destiny Wilson. This one out of bounds. And the Lady Tigers with two big threes to stay in this one. You know, defensively, we're in kind of a 1 3 1 set. I think we're going to trap the first pass. That pass out of bounds and to the Lady Titans. Connor Bear will bring it up. Gets it back to Flores. There's that high set across the baseline again, or across the foul line again. Stoika takes the shot and sinks it. Wow! Nine points for Mackenzie Stoika to start this one off single handedly. That's in four minutes, Hyatt and single-handedly has more points than these Lady Tigers as Lorraine leads it 13 to eight. Ball goes off the Lady Titans out of bounds. So the Tigers will have an offensive possession here with 4.05 left in the first quarter. Shot up. Stoika able to corral the rebound, gets it to Flores. Flores fighting in, puts up the shot. Yo! Still, she'll go to the line 4-2. And a chance to extend this lead. You know, nice job thus far in the first four minutes plus by Lorraine High, not turning it over. I can't recall a turnover. Flores sinks the first shot. You know, they've had a quality shot, quality look every time down. Second shot up and in. So a seven point lead now for Lorraine. Well, we're on the path with 15 for a, a 20 plus point quarter. You don't see many of those in girls basketball. And that errant pass off the hands of the Tigers. So. You know, I'm sorry, I didn't. Oh, I was just no. going to say that Lorraine will take over. Wow. The, the, I don't know, Hyatt, and did you have it, uh, whether these girls are underclassmen, uh, your classes for the Warrensville gals, do you have that? I do not. You do not? You know, they, they didn't come with a JV team. I'm sure this is a mix nine through 12. Oh, my, are you kidding me? <laughs> Three. Danielle Cowan hits the three. But you can really see, you know, how they need to work on defensive fundamentals, just getting in a stance and, you know, when they're guarding somebody, proper positioning, seeing the basketball. There's just so much to this game defensively that uh, most people don't realize from a fundamental standpoint. Nice look, nice pass, nice cut. And Craighead puts two more up on the board. 17-11 the score with 2.40 left to play in the first. And as you mentioned, the scoring pace for Lorraine. Well, we're on pace to score 100 here. Connor Bear bringing it up. Gets it swatted away. Mackenzie Stoika puts up a shot. And the Tigers come down with the rebound. Cowan bringing it up for Warrensville. You know, I'm, I'm just surprised we're kind of playing this the, the, this little zone here. And, boy, it, 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 I think there are opportunities to really hustle Warrensville up and force them into turnovers. But if you, you know, pack a zone back in, that's not going to happen. <clears throat> so with two minutes left in the first, the score is 17-11 in favor of Lorraine. Mackenzie Stoika put up nine points. 
but now she's on the bench coming in for Lorraine, Elena Dignizak, and Mia Martin. Good look. All right, nice, well done. What made that happen was the ability to look up the floor, and we see it all the time. First open man up the floor should get the ball, and that's exactly what happened. <clears throat> Conabare swats it away, heading in all alone. Oh. Can't get the layup. Don't foul now. Just hustle back, sprint back, turn around, pick up. That pass too high for Edwards, and Lorraine will take over. They have 19 points in the first 6.30, as we have just over a minute left to play in the first quarter. There's that lob over the, see that one four across the foul line. If you front, that lob's gonna be there all game long. And that's that's why that's you know a popular little set because you, you, you can't deny and you can't front your man when it's four across the, uh, the foul line because uh, you know of just that, that lob. And that four across the foul line offensive set takes away help defense too. So I mean, it's popular, it's one of the new been around a couple of years with popularity uh, uh, recently. They, you know, a, a lot of people call it the Princeton set. But there it is again, four across the foul line. If you front your man, you're vulnerable to the lob. One tool gets the turnover and heads down the court. They're down 10 with 40 seconds left to play in the first. Need something big to get back in this one, but that three will fall short. Good job keeping it in by the Tigers. Good pass. That foul should be on the floor. I wonder if, let's see. I don't think that was in the act of shooting. But they're getting to the line, wow. Torian Freeman heading to the line just for the, the Tigers. Just the first foul on Lorraine High for the quarter. Freeman's first shot won't go. Second shot is wow. good. So that'll cut the Lady Titan lead to 10. 22 to 12 is the score with just about 15 seconds left in the first quarter. Nieto gets it to Martin, back to Nieto. Okay, Puts nice. the shot up and in. Entry pass, followed by a screen, following the pass, screening, and then you know, turning the corner with the dribble off that, off that screen, pretty nice. So at the end of the first quarter, the Lady Titans lead 23 to 12. We'll be back after these messages on WLCS TV 20. Jimmy, Jimmy dear, don't forget my dress for the fashion show. We want what to look my best now. Jenny, Jenny, we started our book report. Here's the cover. Yeah, now all we need is a beginning, a middle, and an end. Jenny, 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 Jenny dear. Hi, honey. Are you feeling blue? What's wrong with being blue? Well, where should I start? <laughs> if you're a teen dealing with stress, there's help. Visit the Will Rogers Institute website for a free booklet about teen stress and how you can de-stress your life. Right. Hi, I'm Rochelle Lefebvre, and this is Johnny. We're working with Best Friends Animal Society to stop the suffering of millions of breeding dogs in puppy mills who supply puppies to pet stores. You can help, too, by not adding to the demand for pet store puppies. When searching for your next best friend, do what I did. Adopt. Don't shop. <laughs> Let a shelter dog like Johnny steal your heart. Hello and welcome back to Lorraine High School. I'm Hyatt Hernan. Alongside me, Bob Braskage. The Lady Titans lead this one 23 to 12 as we start the second quarter. Here we go. Now we're playing some man to man. Shot up for the Tigers, won't go. Fighting for the rebound. And Conabare comes up with it. 
out there for the Lady Titans. Mia Martin, Gretchen Conabare, oh. Melina Nieto, Almost. Ali Agnizak, and Destiny Wilson. Tigers with the ball. Mirable surveys the court. Passes it back to Edwards, to Cowan. Cowan had nine points in that first quarter, all on threes. Shot won't go, rebound comes out to Conabare. There you go. That's how you play. First open man up the floor gets the basketball. That's how you score it in transition. You know, we were talking during the break, Hyatt. I, I think we're going to win this game. But I hope that all the Warrensville gals score a basket and feel good about it. You know, they only dressed seven. They didn't have a JV team. They've only won one game. And, um, you know, I, I watch their body language, and uh, it's, it's pretty good. They've got smiles on their faces. They're having a good time. Uh, I don't hear see anybody uh, moaning or complaining. So, you know, I, I hope everybody for them scores a basket. And at this level of the game, you know, you should be playing because you enjoy playing. Well, oh, yeah. Oh, without question. But uh, you're right. And that's why these girls obviously, you know, are playing. I mean, I, I'm just so surprised that at a school the size of Warrensville, you know, with the success and popularity of basketball, you know, their boys' teams are good, that they don't have, uh, you know, a, a, a greater program. And, and they've been down like this for, for some time. Good back cut. You know, they wouldn't go for Nizak, but you know, she will head to the line. You know, I, I thought their boys' team last year, from the beginning of the season to the end of the season, they went to the district finals. That was the most improved team as the season unfolded that that I saw and I saw a lot of teams last year and they, they were the most improved and they're having another pretty decent year this year um, you know and again you know War Warrensville Heights is um, uh, Brad Sellers uh, they won back in the 80s or it was in the early 90s they won uh, the state championship I know they were down in Columbus in the final four at least one other time you know, so they've had basketball success in that town. Six minutes left to play in the second quarter. Lady Titans lead by 12. 24 to 12 the score. Okay. That's Mackenzie Stoika back in the game. She had nine points yeah. in the first quarter. You know, I'm not a fan of this four across man offense, but I like, I like the way Lorraine High you know, it does it. I mean, as soon as that ball is entered, they turn and look for a back cut on the, from that wing. Uh, again, with all offensive players foul line or above, there isn't any help around the rim. Uh, uh, um, you, know, you know, if you could beat your man on a back cut, and I think the execution here is pretty good. Angelique Flores takes the shot, won't go. Tigers get the rebound in stride. Edwards. Excuse me, Rob Lay's shot. And Lady Titans able to come up with the rebound and head up court. There you go. Stoika takes the shot. Oh! And sinks it. That's 11 for her on the game. Wow. Penetrate and pitch. With just under five minutes left, the Lady Titans extend that lead to 14. Mirable's shot for the Tigers won't go. Stoika gets the rebound. Angelique Flores cutting through the defense, putting it up and in. Mirable with it for the Tigers. Rob Lay does everything well except shoot it. I mean, she handles it well. She's a good athlete. But if you watch her shot, I mean, she does plays the game very well. Destiny Wilson coming into the game for Mia Martin. And Shaquille Craighead coming in for Melina Nieto.
Destiny Wilson to Flores, who takes the shot. Oh my goodness, was that a three? That was a three. So 31 to 12 is the score. Lorraine running away with this one. A little surprised to see Lorraine High picking up full court there. So with four minutes left, the Titans get another offensive opportunity. That foul there, the fifth team foul for the Lady Tigers. Wilson's shot won't go, gets her own rebound, puts it back up. Craighead. Oh. Won't quite get it. And it looks like she stepped out of bounds with it there. All right, I'm glad to see the Titans up by 19 fall back to the 10 second line. I don't think that. Uh, Full court pressure after that last score was uh, Coach Feldman's idea. He's too much of a sportsman. Cowan gets it to Strickland. Strickland's shot high up, won't go. Craighead fighting for the rebound at the side of the court. And the ball will go to the Tigers. Gretchen Conabare coming into the game for Alina Gnizak. Cowan with it, gets it to yeah, Stowell. Titans on the other end. Stoika's shot. Won't go, Tigers come down with the rebound. Ooh, that's a travel. Good effort to keep it in by the Tigers, but Angelique Flores can control it. That was Ivory Stovall for the Tigers. Nice pass. Leaping out of bounds. See, uh, the, the Warrensville has three or four girls who are very athletic, have decent ball skills, you know, pass and dribble. The biggest problem that's that travel again is you know, they're, they're shooting, I mean, and, and at this level, um, at any high school, boys, girls, I, I mean, if you practice for an hour and a half to two hours every day, I really do think about 35%, 40% of that should be some sort of a shooting drill, working on the shots that you get out of your offense and then the mechanics of the shot also, obviously. But nevertheless, Lorraine Schools TV 20 is your multimedia outlet for all that's happening in Lorraine. Visit the Lorraine Schools TV Facebook page for information, pictures, and a link to our YouTube channel for on-demand viewing of all TV 20 games, concerts, and events. Like us for a chance to win great prizes with Lorraine High's Club TV 20. Catch the best and most extensive coverage in Northeastern Ohio. You can follow us on Twitter for scoring updates. We're also on Time Warner Channel 20 uh, in Lorraine. Uh, obviously, Lorraine Schools TV 20, the good news about our schools. And believe me, there isn't a district in Ohio that I'm aware of that does anything like Lorraine does with school activities, both, both athletic and other extracurricular on, on mass media. It's just amazing. And I've been extremely fortunate to work with them for four years yes, now. Yes, you have, Hyatt, and you're going to my alma mater. And you're going to major in communications, I presume, mm -hmm. at Ohio University. Harvard on the hockey. And it's an exciting place to continue with my future. It sure is. Flores puts up her shot and sinks it for two. 21-point lead for the Lady Titans now with two minutes left in the first half. Another good back cut. Pass and catch. Warrensville with it now, taken away by Stoika. Stoika almost ran into the ref there. Another now gets it to Connor there. Wow. Lorraine High girls playing very unselfishly. First open man getting the basketball. Nobody forcing anything, and that's always refreshing. And obviously, scoring pace is picked up here, and the reason for it is we're going to a straight man-to-man -man here. And, you know, in Warrensville, 
you know, doesn't run their offense with a whole lot of conviction. And uh, consequently, I mean, you could run through the passing lane and steal it for a turnover just about any time you want. One Jules pass taken away by Flores. Flores up, won't go. Oh. And I believe that was Stovall again trying to keep the ball in. And successful. And Angelique Flores slow to get up for the Lady Titans. Ooh, we've got an injury. It's Angelique Flores, something with the left leg. I hope it's just a cramp, but I don't think so. She fell at an awkward angle yeah. behind the play. And it's always good to see two Lady Tigers helping her to the Lorraine bench. Right, and she's not able to put any weight on it at this time. <laughs> Who's in the game for Angelique? Right. Looks to me like her replacement is Alina Gnizak. Okay. Destiny Wilson's shot up, won't go. Nizak up. Titans fighting for the rebound. Wonsville comes up with it, hey, but jump ball call. Jump ball. And possession here will give it to Lorraine. Right. Here's that out of bounds play for the what I think is the worst shot in basketball from the corner, which <laughs> which kind of bear sinks. Connor Bear with the three puts her at seven in the afternoon. 45 seconds left in the first half. Destiny yeah, Wilson see. claws down that pass, heads up the court. Nice pass. Gets it to Connor Bear, who puts it up and in. Nine points now for Connor Bear. See, the scoring has really picked up since we went to straight man and we're putting a little bit of heat on it and you know running through passing lanes. This is what I think, this is what I think girls should be doing all the time. I really do think in the girls game that so many teams leave points on the floor, especially when they fall back and pack in a zone. They're not taking advantage of offensive skill level and, and scoring opportunities. Uh, again, just my humble opinion. In the game now, Shade McCall replaces Conabair. 15 seconds left. Tigers moving the ball around. Strickland with it, go. takes the shot up, falls just short. Six seconds. Destiny Wilson all alone, three seconds, puts up the shot and will get it. So a 30 point lead for the Lady Titans heading into the second half. 42 to 12 is the score as they lead the Warrensville Lady Tigers. Stick around because we'll have second half action after these messages on WLCS TV 20. Hi, I'm Jenny Garth. As a mom, there's nothing more important to me than seeing my kids smile. That's why I've teamed up with the American Association of Orthodontists to shine a light on the importance of a healthy, beautiful smile. We all want to look our best, and an attractive smile is part of it. Getting your child an orthodontic checkup can make a huge difference in their future. Orthodontists straighten teeth and jaws. And if braces are needed, today's hip models let kids sport their own personal style during treatment. To learn more, visit braces.org. Freedom to think for yourself. To disagree with the government. Freedom to be equal. To be different. Freedom to raise a family. To marry the man I love. The freedom to worship the God of my choice. To live with dignity. The freedom to be me. To be whatever I want to be. Defending freedom for over 200 years. Sergeant Jason Nielsen served his country as an MP in Iraq. I was in Iraq for 10 months before I was hit by a sniper. He suffered a paralyzing injury, ending his military service. Paralyzed Veterans of America's National Service Officers are trained to help injured veterans get all the benefits they've earned. She worked with my wife, took care of everything for me just so I could focus on just recovery and, and trying to get on with life. To learn more, visit pva.org. Hello and welcome back to Lorraine High School. I'm Hyatt Hernan. Alongside me, Bob Braskage. 
Lorraine, the Lady Titans lead 42 to 12. And as our director Joe Bach mentioned, at the end of that second quarter, no points for the Lady Tigers in the second quarter. Impressive a defensive performance shut by Lorraine. You know, the other thing the Lady Tigers have to do is point guards have to realize you're back on defense. I mean, they, they, they don't get anybody back defensively, and after a rebound situation, it's pretty easy to, to get a run out on them. Lady Tigers with the ball. See, ball skills of that gal are very good. It's the shot. Again, I mean, I, I'm convinced. You have to work a 30-year practice just on the mechanics of shooting and shooting the basketball. Shot from Craighead up, won't go. Wilson corrals the rebound. Put up by, uh, excuse me, that was Nieto. Uh oh. Back to Conover. <laughs> Cowan takes it away for the Lady Tigers. In some trouble, but finds an outlet. Well, I'm going to go back and repeat what I said earlier. I'm hoping every one of the Warrensville gals makes a basket. Because I know we're going to win, but I, you know, I, my kind of my heart's kind of going out to him a little bit. Dressing just seven, only have one, you know, one game for the season. I want to see them all have a little bit of success. Craighead's shot up, won't go. Nieto able to get the rebound out to Stoika, to Conner out to Nieto. Lady Titans moving the ball around. Destiny Wilson with the shot up. Won't go. Conover gets the rebound. Conover puts it up again. Oh. Won't go. Lady Tigers come down with it. Cowan with it. She has nine points of the 12. All on threes. Over to Edwards. See Edwards the shot. shot. It's, it's all about the shot. So you can do everything well. So many, you know, I watch so many teams like, um, you see it a lot in the Cleveland Senate Leagues. Teams do a lot of things really well, but they don't shoot it well. You can see it in the warm-ups. In the game such that you can do everything pretty well. If you can't shoot it, you're not going to have success. I mean, it's as simple as that. Kristen DiBernardo comes in for Conabare. A lot more of the Lorraine bench getting some time here in the second half. Well, there's a gal I'd like to see play um, freshman for Lorraine High, uh, Simmons. I, I walked in the gym today, and I'm a little bit over six feet tall, and she had a couple of inches on me. I'd, I'd like to see her play. Oh, okay. If you are employed or retired from Lorraine City Schools, and if the answer to that question is yes, then pay close attention to the following. Don't get a three-second call with low interest rates on your investments. Step up the line and shoot your way to success at Lorraine School Employees Credit Union. We'll fast break the competition so you win the financial game of interest. Choose a CD and watch your APY score the max. You'll score a goal every time when you call Lorraine School Employees Credit Union 282-4600, 282-4600. Craighead nails both free throws, and Alina Gnizak checks back into the game. But the Lady Tigers with the basketball now. Cowan passing it through, shot up, won't go, tipped by DiBernardo, but the Lady Tigers come down with the rebound. There's a shot. I mean, all the Warrensville gals, they all need a shot. Coming into the game, Mir Martin will replace Destiny Wilson. Lady Tigers set to inbound. Inbound pass tipped and out of bounds. Well, we have one official saying Lorraine high ball, one official initially said uh, Warrensville, and Lorraine high is going to get it. So with just under five minutes left in the third, and a 32-point lead, the Lady Titans will take over. Craighead bringing it up. Over to Di Bernardo. Oh. 
Craig had couldn't handle a pass from Storka, and that'll give the ball over to Warrensville. We really got to like how Lorraine High gals are passing the basketball tonight. First open man, pretty good ball movement and transition, looking up the floor, very unselfish. That's how you score a lot of points. A little three-man weave here by Warrensville. You haven't seen that in a while. Ultimately, though, the ball rolling into backcourt, and Lorraine will take over. That three-man weave offense, that goes back to the 50s. Pass kept in by Ganizak. I think I saw Duke running it last year, too. But it does go back to the 50s. Ooh, Craig no call. shot. Looked like that could have been a foul on the shot. Well, this game is being loosely officiated, Hyatt. This is loose, and I agree with them. The call comes into the game for Craighead. So Stoika, the only starter out there for Lorraine now. Bradley puts the shot up. And she'll head to the line. Just the first foul for Lorraine High this half. Warrensville with one foul also. Rabley's first shot won't go. But you can see, you know, what we're talking about shooting the basketball. Here's one of those gals. She's a good athlete, passes, catches, everything pretty good. But And that one went. But, the, you know, the two-hand shot is just not going to make it consistently. You've got to get that arm up lined up with your knee and elbow and balance hand on the side of the ball and get your legs into it i mean that's just you, what you've got to do hyatt you're telling me to do something you tell me to read something here pal okay sports fans uh, obviously basketball is back with the excitement of lorraine basketball there is always a game to watch so turn to channel 20 and watch them all win lose or draw our kids give their best Lorraine School Employees Union supports our schools. 4459 Oberlin Avenue. That's 4459 Oberlin Avenue. Good man Neil Summers over there. Big Lorraine supporter. Great place to borrow and a great place to save. And I'm, I'm serious. I'm a customer, and uh, their savings and borrowing rates are much better than the commercial banks. Well, that one point there, Warrensville's first point in just over 14 minutes. Are you kidding? And it came on a free throw. Oh, you're right. Wow. Okay, now we're getting a chance to look at some of the gals that don't get to play much, some of the underclassmen. They did a pretty good job of moving the basketball there. Do we have any starters on the floor, Hyatt? I, can't, I don't see that Stoica's well. Stoika's <clears throat> still out there. Okay. She started the game <clears throat> and has 11 points so far. Yeah. But if I am correct, I don't, I don't have it on the roster, but I do believe she is an underclassman. I have it. She is a... Stoika? Yes. Is a senior. Okay. So I was incorrect. Yeah. You know, in these situations, if you're a coach, you like to leave one of your starters out there with four, four of your players that hasn't played much, just for stability. Um, leave one of your starters in, preferably somebody that handles the basketball a lot, and it makes it a lot easier on those four, four gals, in this case, uh, that really don't get much playing time. Coming into the game now for the Lady Titans, Naray Clark. Number 42. Lady Tigers inbound. Shot from Mirable won't go, but fouled. And so after being shut out for 14 minutes, three points now for the Tigers and a chance to add more here.
First shot won't go. Yeah, see, that's just not going to get it done. And the rebound out on the Titans. So the Tigers get another shot here. Cowan to inbound, looking for someone open. Cowan back with it. Gets it to Mirable. Tigers moving the ball around. Shot up. Won't go, and Mia Martin comes down with the rebound. Stoika's shot. Won't go. But able to get her own rebound. Second attempt. Won't go. Put back by Martin won't go, and the Tigers <clears throat> get a hand on the rebound. Stoika's a little injured, I think. I didn't see her wincing. She might have gotten a finger in the eye. She's staying on the floor, though. Now here comes the sub. So in comes Brianna Turner and Shaquille Craighead, who was a starter. So again, Lorraine, as you mentioned, trying to keep yeah, one yeah, starter yeah, if you in you keep there. one starter in these situations, you're up by 30 and you want to get playing time for, for the rest of the troops. Uh, and, and, and the younger kids, you leave a starter out there that, that, again, preferably is one that handles the ball and everything will go better. Minute 45 left in the third quarter. Lady Titans lead 44 to 15. Craighead gets it to Clark. Clark to Turner. Pass swooped in and knocked away by Mirable, but the ball will stay with the Lady Titans. <laughs> Di Bernardo dribbling with it, and there's a travel. Well, the point scoring barrage has come to a screeching halt. The, the Warrensville Tigers actually have more points than Lorraine this quarter with three. Lorraine putting up two. The score was 42 to 12 at the half. Oh, it was 42 to 12? 4 to 15 now. What? Mm -hmm. Hyatt, again, you're paying more claim. We've only scored. Two points this half, or this quarter this far? Only two points so far in this quarter. Wow. Craighead puts up the shot and it sinks the three to make it five. Her ninth point of the game. Tigers with it. Taken away by Craighead. 20 seconds. Shot up, swatted away by a swarm of Tigers, and taken by Cowan. Cowan getting the pass through. Shot up, won't go. Ball rolling on the ground. Finally, the Titans <laughs> come up with it, and that'll sound the buzzer. So at the end of three, the Lady Titans 47, the Warrensville Tigers 17. Stick around because we'll be back to wrap this one up with fourth quarter action after these messages. There are those who dedicate themselves to a sense of honor, to a life of courage, and a commitment to something greater than themselves. They have always defended this nation and each other. They still do. The few the proud, the Marines. Hello and welcome back to Lorraine High School. I'm Hyatt Hearn and alongside me, Bob Braskage. The Lady Titans lead by 30, 47-17 over the Lady Tigers. 
Lady Tigers with the basketball here. Well, we're going to get a chance here, up by 30, to see some of the younger gals play that don't get a lot of playing time. Hi, who do we have on the floor? Out there right now, yeah. Noray Clark, Brianna Turner. Trying to see the numbers. Shaquilla Craighead, Mia Martin, and Kristen DiBernardo. Craighead, the only starter out there. She has nine points on the day. And just a sophomore. Oh, now we're going to run a little pass, cut, and fill. I love this offense right here. Spread the floor, pass, cut, and fill. Clark's shot wouldn't go, but comes up with the basketball. Gets it to Mia Martin. Oh! Still fighting for it, and shot up and in for Brianna Turner. Her first two points of the game. Makes it 49-17. Pass through to Stovall, shot up and good. Her first two of the game. Lady Titans pass, cut, around. and fill. Open five, pass, cut through. Everybody else fill the position so you have five spaces covered. Floor spread. I like that. I think it's a great offense at any level, especially a developmental offense for younger kids because it, everybody handles the ball. Nobody's on a block with their back to the basket. Everybody plays face in the basket. I just think it fits today's game. You could do all kinds of picks and screens out of it if you want. And you know, with the way the game has changed over the last 10 years with much more of an emphasis on, you know, attacking the defense off of the dribble, it's just conducive to that because it spreads the floor and if you reverse the basketball, you can attack closeouts. It's, oh, now we're back to the four across. Well, Mirable completes the three-point play on the other end of things. And now into the game, Melina Nieto. So the final starter out of the game for Lorraine with just under six minutes okay. left to play. Gals are doing a nice job. Darn it. Mirable on the other end. Puts it up for two. Yeah, I see a couple girls that, again, if you put a shot on them, number 10, Mirable is one of them, could be very effective. Nieto bringing it ahead to Martin. Martin loses it, but gets it back. Mm. And a foul there against the Tigers. So Nieto resets the offense, gets it to Clark to Martin. Good to job, Turner. move the ball. First open man, get it moving. There you go. Shot from Nieto, won't quite go, but Turner able to take the rebound away. Now the Tigers get to control and Cowan's back behind the defense. Shot up and in. So the Warrensville Lady Tiger is putting up a couple more points this quarter than they have the rest of the game, but that's to be expected with Ooh. who's out there for the Titans. Right. And we want them to score a couple baskets anyway, right? Well, you know, we... Not too many, but the, a couple. We had the chance to watch the, the Warrensville football team earlier in the season. They actually, the game was rained out. They had to come back the next day, and you saw the real resilient athletes on that team based on who came out early Saturday morning, and who played hard? These Warrensville kids have a lot of fight in them. Well, Hyatt, I know you've done football, and I know you've done basketball. Have you done any baseball? I've done one softball game, and okay. I'll just say it wasn't exactly my forte. Okay. See, that's another gal. Number 10, that's Robles? Uh, that's Mirable. Oh, Mirable. She could be a player. And what, what would be your favorite to do, basketball or football? Um, I, I've been more of a football guy while I've been here. I, I'm a bit more familiar with the sport. But I've enjoyed doing basketball. It, it's very different doing basketball, but 
a lot of fun to watch the games. Oh, there's that play again. Everybody runs it. Set the pick, and that's the second time it's worked. And I always make a negative comment when somebody runs that. You know, they set the little screen for the inbounder and reverse it back to her and takes what I think is the worst shot in the game. And we've run it twice and scored both times. That was Nieto putting up the three for the Titans. And on the other end of things, I don't know when it'll just be a two, but that's coming from Korea, Karina Strickland. Oh, and that's another three from Nieto. Just over three minutes left. This one's winding down. Lady Titans with a 25 point lead. Well, with seven players, I could see the Warrensville gals are kind of getting tired. That's rough. I wonder what, what the coach does in practice without a JV team. And if you only have seven, uh, I wonder how they practice. I know what I would do. I would go get five boys out of the halls. And I would practice against five boys is what would be my approach to it. But I wonder what they do. Oh. From Nieto, another three. Just like that, Nieto extends her totals to 11 on the game. That's three three-pointers in a row for Nieto. Well, that shot's not that far off right there. Wow. That was Mirable for two. Yeah, I think she has some. I, I, I can see where with these seven girls, um, Again, I don't want to be critical of what anybody's doing, but I can see how you can make a team out of these seven. You wouldn't have much size, but, you know, I, I see a team out there. You know, work on defensive fundamentals and shooting the basketball, spread the floor and get some movement. Um, I can see where you could make a team out of this, this group. Mackenzie Stoica comes into the game for Di Bernardo. She has 11 points, Flores has 11 points. Yeah, look at that. And now Not Nieto bad. has 11 points. Flores, of course, injured in the third quarter. We hope the best nice for her. Pass. Nieto with the bounce pass. And the scoring has picked right back up for the Lady Titans. They only had five in the third quarter, but they've more than doubled that here. Nieto comes up with the ball. Minute 30 left in the game. Loses it, but gets it right back. McCall's shot up. Won't go. Fighting for the rebound. Lady Tigers come out with it. Mirable's shot up. Won't go. Put back. Won't go. Still fighting for it. McCall has it for Lorraine. Look up. Look up. Traveling. That'll bring the ball back down for the Tigers. Minute six left in this one. Lady Titans securing the win here, 60 to 32. Lady Tigers inbound. Exactly a minute left. Edwards bounces it through, shot up and wow. in. That was Strickland. McCall has it for the Lady Titans, 40 seconds. Ball bouncing around awkwardly there. Travel call, ball back to Lorraine. I think this game has been expertly officiated. I really do. There's some little things that could have been called and 
The officials decided not to. I don't, I'm not in total disagreement with them. And they, made, they made the calls they've had to make. And there's mm -hmm. Malaya Simmons out there for the last 30 okay, seconds. Okay, this is Miguel. I want to see, I want to see Malaya if she can run. She can run up and down the floor. She's six. 6'1 listed in the program, number 11, just a freshman, moves pretty well. I mean, this, this gal could be a player. McCall's shot, 12 seconds left in the game. And, and she can run. When you get a big gal like that, if they can get up and down the floor, you can, you can do something with that gal. Two seconds and one. That will sound the buzzer. So the Lady Titans win 60 to 34. Stick around because after these messages, we'll wrap this one up on WLCS TV 20. Hello and welcome back to Lorraine High School. I'm Hernan, alongside me, Bob Braskage. The Lady Titans wrap this one up 60 to 34 in their second to last home game of the season. Impressive showing from the Lady Titans, but you have to give Warrensville some credit. Well, I do, and you know, and I'm glad they scored some baskets. They scored 34, which is about 20 more than I thought they would score after watching warmups. But and so I'm glad they scored again. Now, I, I, obviously, we want Lorraine High to win, but I, I, with playing with just seven and not having a JV team, you know, we wanted to see them have a little bit of success. I'll tell you what, Lorraine High did well: uh, pass the basketball, uh, especially in transition, and did so very unselfishly, and that's why they scored 60. And if you know, if there wasn't for the massive substitution, uh, you know, for the younger gals who should have played and, and did. Uh, you know, uh, Lorraine High could have easily scored 80 to 90. I mean, just did a nice job. I didn't see any of the gals, you know, do anything selfish. If somebody was open up the floor, they got it. In transition, if you had a choice or you had a teammate that was open, 90% of the time tonight, you hit the teammate that was open. And, and that's always refreshing to see. Once again, the final score, 60 to 34 in the second to last home game, senior night, tomorrow night. And that's exciting for all the girls on this team. For Hyatt Hernan and Bob Braskage and everyone at the WLCS TV20 crew, thank you for watching. We hope to see you again, and we're signing off. This has been a production of Lorraine City Schools TV20 WLCS. To purchase a high-quality copy of the program you just viewed, please call Lorraine City Schools Television at 282-8400.